The iguanodonts were one of the first groups of Species die out when their environment changes and they can't adapt. Sometimes a new predator eats all of them. Other times the weather changes and it becomes too hot or cold for some plants and animals to survive. No one knows why the dinosaurs died. Many scientists think that an asteroid or comet hit the Earth and threw so much dust into the air that the sun was blocked. The plants died, the herbivores died, and then the carnivores died. Extinction is when all the animals in a group die out. The dinosaurs became extinct 65 million years ago. But they weren't the only animals to die out. Many other species have died out like the trilobite or the cynognathus. Dinosaurs were not lonely creatures. Fossils show that many dinosaurs lived in herds, migrated, and even looked after their young, like birds and mammals do today. Myasaura built their nests close to each other. Parents looked after the hatchlings until they grew large enough to leave the nests and fend for themselves. Deinonychus and other small meat-eaters probably hunted in packs, like wolves. This way they could go after large prey together, and when they overcame its defenses, everyone got a good meal. Paleontologists have found huge groups of the same species fossilized together. This probably shows that they lived in herds. In other places, Paleontologists have found scars on the bones, which show that dinosaurs fought each other for mates, like deer and bison do today. Welcome back to the back... A dash to the dash, is it? See you later! Ted Hutt, you are ordered to enjoy Cretaceous Mongolia 70 million years ago. Take note of the dinosaurs and have lots of fun. Have I made myself clear? So you think dinosaur names aren't that hard? Then take a spin at the name game. Click on the dino to hear its name. Then put the name back together with the gems below. Horizontosaurus. <laughs> Corythosaurus. Rascor. Cor is. Cor is o. Watch a mama protoceratops at work in Nest Watch. <laughs> 
feed your mouth to help Gertie protect her eggs and babies from a hungry predator. Just click where you want Gertie to go and she'll headbutt those predators when she meets up with them. Level 1. Level 2. must be rugged to deal with heat and only tough little plants to eat. Look at that poor dinosaur. She thinks she's a bird, but I don't think she'll ever make it off the ground. You said it, Phoebe. Scientists are still trying to figure out if Mononychus is a dinosaur or a bird. Or both. <laughs> I feel myself fossilizing already. Deserts are a good place to find fossils because dinosaur bodies were quickly covered up by sand. Just like Miss Frizzle's here. <laughs> Do we always have to run into something with that many teeth? Now, Arnold, you love lots of toothy carnivores, like cats and dogs. Why pick on that Tarbosaurus just because it's not as cute as they are? Doesn't oviraptor mean egg thief? Did that dinosaur steal those eggs it's sitting on? No, Arnold. Check this out. Paleontologists used to think oviraptors stole eggs and ate them. Then they found fossils that proved oviraptor was caring for its own eggs, not eating someone else's. Congratulations! You found the missing creature! This critter's picture is going right where it belongs, in the photo album. Let's check it out! Just look at this perfect picture of Oviraptor. If ever there was a completely misunderstood Cretaceous Mongolian dinosaur, this was it. Ooh, so you're ready to find the next missing critter? Just click on the red crystal to hear some clues. This dinosaur is named for Mr. Herrera, who owned the pasture where the dinosaur's fossils were found. See if you can find this dino in the flesh and take its photograph. This carnivore was one of the largest early dinosaurs. Hmm, who do you think is making the biggest noise in Triassic Argentina? See you soon! We still have more dinos to find! To augment our auspicious au revoir, let's aim our automobile at Alberta! Ahoy! Alberta. Watch the predators, please, and have a good day. Bye-bye. The first chestnuts, willow trees, and ah, flowers appeared in the Cretaceous period. 
Ornithomimus looks like an ostrich. Yeah. More like an ostrich who forgot to put her feathers yeah. on this morning. Oh. Make some tunes with the Triceratops in Dino Quartet. Each dino makes a noise. Click on the little brown speaker to hear it. Nice sound! Too bad they can't whistle. I'd play it another way and see how it sounds then. <laughs> I like that. Goodness gracious, we're in the Cretaceous! Some hadrosaurs, like Myasaurus, took care of their young. And they fed them just like birds do. Those horns aren't for show. Triceratops used them to defend itself against predators like Tyrannosaurus Rex. Albertosaurus was a huge carnivore that was named after Alberta, Canada, where its fossils were found. Which is where we are right now, only there's no Canada in the Cretaceous. Look at the smoke coming from that mountain. It must be a volcano! Some volcanoes kicked out so much ash that they buried everything around them. Not so good for the dinosaurs, but it made some excellent fossils for us. If you want to go back to the classroom, pull the red lever. Welcome back to the Backbus Dinatorium. There's more to a dinosaur head than meets the eye. So let's be nosy and check out Keisha's special report. This is Keisha, and welcome to Skull X. This week, Secrets of the Dino Heads. The experiment where we get down to the bare bones and uncover the shocking truth about what's under all those scales and muscles. This is Triceratops, a Cretaceous Ceratopsian. This is Triceratops' skull. As you can see, those horns and that beak were backed up with bone. This is Protoceratops' skull. That frill around its head was strong enough to protect its neck. It was also probably used in the same way that peacocks use their tails, to show off. This is Lambiosaurus's skull. Inside that crest are a lot of air passages, like the tubing on a trumpet. Lambiosaurus probably used them to make noise so he could be heard by the herd. So this is what Diplodocus's skull looked like. For many years, no one could find one. So paleontologists substituted the skulls of other dinosaurs when a Diplodocus skeleton was on display. is Corythosaurus's skull. That crest may have been used to either show off to other animals in the herd, or like a megaphone, to make Corythosaurus's mating calls even louder. <laughs> this 
This is Camarasaurus's skull. Some of those empty spaces you see made it lighter and easier for Camarasaurus to move its head around on the end of its long, long neck. This is Baryonyx's skull. Except for the bump in the middle, it's about the same shape as a crocodile's. This is one of the reasons we think that Baryonyx ate fish. This is Albertosaurus's skull. Its large eye sockets tell us that its eyes were both big and sharp. That's a great help to a hunter like Albertosaurus. Thanks for tuning in to Skull X, Secrets of the Dino Heads. Remember, if there's skull duggery ahead, you know we'll be looking into it. Welcome back to the Backbus Dinatorium. I see Ralphie standing by to tell you whose bones have been found in your neck of the woods. Ralphie? Spanning the globe to bring you the latest Babylon bones. This is Wide World of Fossils. I'm your host, Ralphie. Today, we're gonna learn what's been found where. So click on the map and we'll get up close and personal with the creatures of the past. That's Europe, which was inhabited by Iguanodons, Archaeopteryx, and many other creatures. Here are some of the fossils that have been found in Europe. These fossils were found in Germany. These fossils were found in Romania. These fossils were found in Hungary. These fossils were found in Austria. These fossils were found in Belgium. These fossils were found in Switzerland. These fossils were found in Italy. These fossils were found in Spain. These fossils were found in Portugal. These fossils were found in England. These fossils were found in Scotland. That's North America, the last resting place of Tyrannosaurus Rex and countless other creatures. These fossils were found in Saskatchewan, Canada. These fossils were found in Alberta, Canada. These fossils were found in Alaska, USA. These fossils were found in Greenland. These fossils These fossils were found in South Dakota, USA. These fossils... These fossils were found in Nevada, USA. These fossils were found in Baja, California, in Mexico. These fossils were found in Arizona, USA. These fossils were found in Utah, USA. These fossils were found in... These fossils were found in New Mexico, USA. These fossils These fossils were found in Oklahoma, USA. These fossils These fossils were found in New Jersey, USA. These fossils were found in Connecticut, USA. That's South America. These fossils were found in Brazil. These fossils were found in Uruguay. These fossils were found in Argentina. That's Australia, the down under den of Mutaburosaurus and countless other creatures. That's Asia, the place for Protoceratops. And these fossils were found in Russia. These fossils were found in Mongolia. These fossils were found in China. These fossils were found in Laos. That's Africa. Land of the Brachiosaurus and countless other fossil finds. These fossils were found in Egypt. These fossils were found in Tunisia. These fossils were found in Algeria. These fossils were found in Niger. These fossils were found in Kenya. These fossils were found in Tanzania. These fossils were found in Madagascar. These 